Hello guys and welcome back. Today again you are here with Max Magician and we will try to figure out how to understand the variation. We all know that there are two types of variation we usually get in the quantities. First variation is direct variation and second variation is indirect variation. Very first of all, what is the variation means? See, variation means changes. If changes seen in two quantities are same then it's a direct variation and if changes seen in two quantities are opposite then it is called as inverse variation it's pretty, pretty simple you you know now see we will try to understand the concept from this question itself see we have we are 7 kg onions cost rupees 140 then how much must be paid to buy 12 kg onions so if you read this first sentence okay we have two numbers correct one is 7 kg and another one is 140 so what is this 140 cost what is this 7 kg it's a weight of onion so we can write we can make one table like this guys weight and cost correct this cost will be in rupees and this weight is is in kg okay now what how much is the weight 7 kg then how much is the cost 140 okay now we need to buy 12 kg onion then of course it, it will go it, it it goes in weights column okay and now i need to find how much is the cost of this 12 kg onion pretty simple you know that now check it out this part previously we had 7 kg and now we need to purchase 12 kg then of course the change over here is increasing or not yes it is increasing correct now try to figure out if 7 kg onion we have to pay 140 rupees then for 12 kg onion am i going to pay more amount than 140 or less than less than that yeah of course you are right guys we have to pay more amount so here also we can say the change is increasing right now check out check out these changes this is increasing change so this is also increasing change correct so to figure out this change we require little bit common sense and that i know i'm very sure that we all have this correct so if these changes are equal then we say it is in direct variation correct and always keep it in mind whenever two quantities are in direct variation then their ratio is constant ratio or you can say division okay ratio or division is constant or same I hope so you figure out you I, I hope so guys you have understood this part now let's try to understand this this way concept of variation by one more question okay check out over here we will try to understand it by first statement five workers take 12 days to weed a field see there are two numbers again five and 12 what are these five workers what are these 12 days it means that to complete one work five workers are taking 12 days okay so we have heading of a column as workers that is number of workers and days taken to finish the work correct this is the most important table guys this table only will help us to understand how to figure out which variation it is okay now number of workers are how, how many five how many days are they taken 12 now after that see how many days would six workers take six workers of course six will be written in the workers column and i need to figure out how many days are taken the question continues okay but we will first try to understand understand whether it is direct variation or inverse variation okay now here check out again these two numbers are given so here the change is what yes of course you can see it correct increasing yes you got it right now you just figure out we try to understand if five workers are doing one work in 12 days then of course if numbers of number of workers are increasing then my work will be finished in less time or more time of course it is it will be completed in less time so my number of days taken to complete the work will be decreasing correct now check out the changes here it is decreasing here it is increasing means the changes seen in these two quantities are opposite in nature correct if changes are opposite then i told you already if changes are opposite then we have inverse variation so we can write i can write it is in inverse variation
Correct? Now, if if two quantities are in inverse variation, always remember that their product is constant. Therefore, product of those quantities will be constant. Product is constant. I hope that you have understood this part also, how to figure out inverse variation. Now, let's try to understand this concept one more time with one more example. Okay. Now, see your wave. We will try to understand the question first. The stock of grain in a warehouse lasts for 30 days for 4,000 people. Again, we have two numbers that is 30 days and 4,000 people. Correct? So, my heading of the column will be days and people. Am I right guys? Yes. And you are also right guys. I know you can figure it out now. So, we have 30 days. The stock will last for 30 days or 4,000 people. Okay. And now the question here is how many days will it last for 6,000 people? I mean, it means that number of people are increasing. This is this is very easy guys. See, check it out here. If a stock lasts for 30 days for 4,000 people, then of course, if number of people are increasing, then this same stock will not last for 30 days. Can you figure out whether it will be finished in less days or it will take more days to finish? Yes, guys, you are right. It will take less days to finish. So, means though it means that number of the change seen in the number of people is increasing, correct? But change seen in the number of days to finish the stock will be decreasing. Are you understanding, guys? Yes, of course, you are understanding because you all are good. You all are good are in understanding too. So, I told you if number of people are increasing, then of course the same stock will not last for same days. It will be decreasing. Correct? It, it may get over in 26 days or 20 days or 20 days. It depends, but it will not last for 30 days. Then of course changes seen in these two quantities is different, different. It is opposite in nature and if it is in opposite in nature. Then of course we have inverse variation. So I can say it is in inverse variation and whenever two quantities are in inverse variation we have product of those quantities as constant so product is constant i hope that guys with this example you have understood how to identify the variation and type of variation Correct. Stay tuned and look out for more videos how to for how to solve this variation. See ya. Bye bye.